The vast blue ocean gives us precious aquatic resources, but it also bears potentially unexpected disasters. Our country is situated in the tropical monsoon regions and faces threats from annual sea storms, causing great losses in property and human lives. The Vietnam Red Cross is effectively carrying out the mangrove forest planning for disaster prevention program under the sponsorship of the Danish and Japanese Red Cross societies. This humanitarian program has created a green wall to protect the population along the coastal regions. When the Hong Kings founded the nation, the legend of Father Dragon and Mother Fairy, with 50 children going to the mountains and the other 50 taking to the blue waters, depicts a close relationship between the sea and the lives of the Vietnamese people. For years, the ocean has provided the people with valuable resources. Alongside the formation and development of the Delta areas, fishing has always been associated with the livelihood of the people. Vietnam Red Cross has conducted many humanitarian programs responding to the movement of charity work by every agency, every family, and every person. In 1993, the Central Committee of the Vietnam Red Cross proposed a program of mangrove reforestation to protect the environment in Thai Thuy District of Thai Binh Province, which was sponsored by the Danish Red Cross for the period of 1994 to 1996. After the program's success, the Danish Red Cross continued to sponsor the program, extending it to Nam Dinh Province for the period of 1997 to the year 2000. At the same time, the Japanese Red Cross Society sponsored the implementation of this program in six other provinces, Quảng Ninh, Hải Phòng, Ninh Bình, Thanh Hóa, Nghệ An, and Hà Tĩnh. The third phase of the program from 2001 to 2005 is being carried out effectively in the eight northern coastal provinces. Through thousands of years and many geological changes have resulted in the formation of the coastal deltas. For centuries, the Vietnamese people have given thought of claiming land from the sea and establishing villages. Nguyen Cung Chu initiated and made great contributions to encroach upon the sea, expand the continental shelf and populate the coastal provinces. Planting and mangrove forests is the first step of a process to build sea dikes and desalinate the soil for the gradual formation of huge alluvial fields. Millions of people have relied on the fertile delta soil and the bounties of a wet rice civilization. One of the criteria for each nation's sustainable development is the protection of its environment, including the marine environment. Mangrove reforestation and disaster preparedness is a humanitarian program of investment and development, different from other aid programs. With the motto, better to give a fishing rod than a fish, of the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, this program is the biggest of its kind undertaken by the Vietnam Red Cross. In Thai Thuy district of Thai Binh province, where the program was first started almost 10 years ago, mangrove forests are now lush green. Candelaya and Soneretia mangrove species help to increase the alluvial formations. Land has advanced out to sea by several kilometers. The local ecology has improved, attracting more and more diversity of aquatic species and birds. Following the success of Thai Thuy District, we expanded the project into Tien Hai District. After 10 years, all the villages along the coastline of Thai Thuy and Tien Hai are now participating in planting mangrove forests for the prevention of disaster. We have planted almost 6,000 hectares of forest, creating a green wall to protect the sea dikes and the people. The mangrove reforestation and disaster preparedness program has and is still achieving significant results. This has become possible thanks to the concern of the party, the government, various ministries and agencies, party organizations and authorities of all levels, along with the combined efforts of the people in the eight northern coastal provinces and the chapters of the Vietnam Red Cross. After three phases of the program, nearly 20,000 hectares of mangrove forest have been planted in 89 communes in 24 districts of the eight northern provinces. 
The planted mangrove forests have brought great benefits to the local people. The program has created jobs and generate income for many poor people in accordance to the targets set by the Vietnam Red Cross. These mangrove forests have formed a green wall to protect the dikes from the destructive forces of the typhoons, help to improve their ecological environment and enrich their aquatic resources, thus reducing hunger and alleviating poverty among the populace, increasing the important roles of the Vietnam Red Cross in these localities. For us, benefits from the mangrove forests are enormous. They have become a habitat for many aquatic species so we can catch more fish, shrimps and other crustaceans. When the candelaya mangroves blossom, the local people proceeded to raise bees for honey. Benefits reaped from the forest are numerous as more and more aquatic species converged here, improving the standard of living for the people. Over 4,000 poor families have increased their income directly by planting, tending, and protecting these mangrove forests, while thousands of other households have also benefited indirectly from the marine ecology. Initial assessments of the coastal villages where the program was carried out, the median income is approximately four to five million Vietnam dong per family per year. Mangrove reforestations have lifted many households out of poverty, enabling them to purchase necessary goods for their livelihood and production. Other families earn money by raising and selling saplings to plant in the forest. In 2003, I earned 60 million Vietnam dong from selling seedlings and saplings of Brugiera mangroves. Some families earn as much as 4 million Vietnam dong per month from catching crabs. Thanks to this, they can now afford to buy television sets, furniture and fishing boats. Vietnam has many famous tourist sites along the coast, some of which have been recognized as world's heritage sites. To maintain and develop these resources endowed by nature, we must think about the negative impacts of nature itself. This mangrove forest became a green wall to protect the natural heritage sites and improve their ecology, attracting more and more tourists to our beautiful shore. Near Dosun Beach, the Dai Health Mangrove Forest has been planted and tended by a local chapter of the Vietnam Red Cross. The idea of transforming the forest into an eco-tourist site has been in the mind of the local people since it has drawn more bird life into the region. Chúng tôi có một cái ý tưởng là sẽ in the future, we are thinking about upgrading the Dai Hub forest into an eco-tourist site. Without the mangrove forest program, we would not have thought of it. The Vietnam Red Cross has planted a beautiful green mangrove forest to improve the local ecology. The mangrove reforestation and disaster preparedness program has been carefully organized with great concern of the Vietnamese Communist Party, of the central and local authorities, and the chapters of Vietnam Red Cross acting as a nuclei of the program. 
These criteria ensure the decisive success of the program. To raise the awareness of the program among the people, chapters of the Vietnam Red Cross have combined propaganda activities with training courses on the techniques of mangrove planting and various methods to prevent natural calamities called disaster preparedness. Documents, banners, and posters were made to propagate this program. From the early days of the program, the Vietnam Red Cross received support and consulted with the Mangrove Ecosystems Research Center known as MERC of the Hanoi National University. From research in the laboratories to the actual planting of the mangroves in the coastal areas, MERC scientists have tested and identified the species of mangrove suitable for cultivation in different soil conditions as well as the planting and tending techniques. These forests help to form an effective barrier against waves and erosions of the dikes. One and a half kilometer of mangrove forest will reduce waves of one meter high down to 0.05 meters when they reach the base of the dikes. In the absence of these forests, the waves will be 0.75 meter high when they reach the dikes, causing a high risk of erosion. These mangrove forests offer protection for the dikes, saving the government billions of dongs annually for their repair and maintenance. The further land reaches out to sea, the more the environment will show its rainbow of colors. Man lives with and nurtures the ecology with a desire to tame the vast ocean. In their coexistence with the sea against typhoons and storms, fishermen have drawn many experiences in weather forecasting in the form of folk verses. Low dragonfly means rain, high dragonfly brings sunshine, or yellow clouds of wind and red clouds of rain. Our country faces an average of 10 typhoons annually. Each of them leaves behind severe consequences. Some coastal communes in Hai Hau district of Nam Dinh province suffer from landslides. After conducting research and surveys, the program has helped to rebuild and repair houses for many poor families. These activities have bolstered the people's trust in the program to plant mangrove forests and prevent disasters. When people don't live in harmony, they cannot work in contentment. Under the sponsorship of the Danish-funded project, we built and reinforced 271 houses in 2002 and 112 others in 2003, totaling 483 houses valued at almost 5 billion Vietnam dong. The maximum amount spent for a household is 21 million Vietnam dong, and the minimum is 3 million Vietnam dong. This has helped to strengthen the houses against the storms, thus reducing the risk of disasters. Cage of local Red Cross chapters have cooperated with the local authorities to classify and select poor households to provide safe water. This clean water support is within the framework of the program in 2003. Under the program, cashewarina trees and bamboo have been planted along riverbanks and dikes. As many as 283,250 cashewarina trees were planted on 51.5 hectares as a barrier against wind and sand from encroaching into the villages and paddy fields. Along major rivers, the Red Cross chapters have organized the planting of bamboo by the local people to protect the embankments. Participants were mainly poor households who were afforded an opportunity to work and earn some income. This program was scientifically implemented by the steering committees from the central to the local levels. An important factor for the success of the program is the focus toward protection of the forest.
Forest planting is difficult, but its protection is even more so. Many afforestation programs has failed due to inattention to this factor. After the planting phase is completed, the program has established a plan to protect these mangroves by supplementing income to the guards, building guard posts, equipping binoculars and motorized canoes, whereas teams are assigned to guards the forest 24 hours a day. However, difficulties have emerged during the course of the program because of damages to the planted trees caused by the fishermen. We caught them when they were entering the forest to catch crabs. Without a proper office, we took them to my house before transferring them to the People's Committee building. Then they took revenge against me by poisoning my two pigs and three dogs. Thousands of them came to catch crabs in this newly planted forest. We tried to stop them and they beat us up. I had to be hospitalized for a week. We are determined to protect the forest day and night because it brings benefit to everyone, including guards such as ourselves. Recently, there has been a surge in shrimp farming because of the high profits. Many people are attracted to this business. Ponds for shrimp farming has expanded at a dizzying rate. Many locals have enlarged their ponds carelessly, creating a negative impact on the mangrove forest. Many have even chopped down or destroyed newly planted mangroves for this purpose. These people are out for the short-term gains. They neglect to see the long-term benefits of the forest. Without the protection of the forest, natural disasters will surely destroy the shrimp ponds as well as the dikes. To address this issue, the Vietnam Red Cross has cooperated with various ministries, central and local agencies to take tough and timely actions against violations and damages to the mangrove forest. Some household chopped down mangrove forest number 327 for farming shrimps, encroaching onto the Red Cross forest. We prevented and reported the violation in time to the authorities. With good planning, the mangrove forest will act as a green wall to protect the coastal dikes and shrimp ponds, still enabling shrimp farmers to invest and develop their production thus helping to create a sustainable base for agriculture. The program focused on raising the awareness of the population, especially children as they are the most vulnerable when disasters do happen. Each year, we organize summer camps for the children and young people, creating a playground with an awareness of Vietnamese humanism, understanding of the Vietnam Red Cross, of the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies and their humanitarian activities. The children learn about the mangrove forest and disaster preparedness to become responsible citizens of society and the nation. Training courses on disaster preparedness have been organized for students and teachers at 170 primary schools in the eight provinces. The program included many propaganda activities attractive to old and young alike. 
đây là những Looking at the happy faces of these children, we believe that the future generations will enjoy a happy life. The children, along with their parents and siblings, are the people building the green wall to protect themselves from disasters of today and tomorrow. The greatest success of the program is a change in people's perception about the forest and its usefulness. Each and every one of the folks, regardless of age, realize that the planting and protection of the mangrove forest mean protections for themselves. I think the contest is very useful. It raises our knowledge and awareness to protect the forest. The sponsors, the Danish and Japanese Red Cross societies, have closely monitored the implementation of the program to ensure that the funds have been used most effectively. Systems of bookkeeping and spending were strictly observed. The people who participated in the program received their funds directly and on time to further encourage them. To assess the results of the program, the Danish and Japanese Red Cross societies periodically sent independent international assessment teams to these coastal provinces. These teams have physically traveled to these areas to witness the lush green forests planted with casuarinas and bamboos and the safe water wells. They met directly with the local folks to hear about the specific benefits and results of the program and came away with good conclusions. I would just like to use you know, 12... The team have been visiting uh, five provinces where Red Cross is implementing coastal protection by planting mangroves and other species. We've been impressed by results where a lot of the dikes are now more safe from wave attack during typhoons due to the plantings. Also, a lot of people have now better access to gaining income from uh, collecting seed crabs to the fish pond owners and that generate a better local economy. And the, and the um, Fish ponds uh, are better protected, so there are two ways of uh, supporting the local economy, the local poor people and the fish pond owners. Um, the only critical point or a re recommendation for the future would be that if Red Cross continues to do coastal protection um, programs, we recommend that they try more to work with a priority saying where is protection needed. Um, would planting be an option? And if yes, then implement it. Sometimes we think this program had done the other way around. We planned where it is possible, not only where it's needed. That's the only uh, little critical twist. Otherwise, it's a beautiful program, which we congratulate the Vietnam Red Cross for introducing. The leaders of Vietnam Red Cross have worked with officials from the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development to seek solutions for the program's continuance. We see that this project has attained many good results to protect the environment and to raise the standard of living for people along the sea coast. Soon, the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development will integrate this project into its program to plant 5 million hectares of mangrove forest. We hope that the international Red Cross organizations will support the Vietnam Red Cross to continue to plant mangroves along this coast of Vietnam. The mangrove reforestation and disaster preparedness program has bolstered the prestige of the Vietnam Red Cross as it still is underway. The mangrove reforestation and disaster preparedness program is one of the biggest projects developed by the Vietnam Red Cross, which has made substantial contributions to improve the living standards of the coastal communities, protect the environment and prevent disasters.
In the future, we hope for further support from the Vietnamese government, from international organizations and from governments of foreign countries to expand the program nationwide, helping the people to a better life. The Mangrove Reforestation and Disaster Preparedness is a new type of action program of the Vietnam Red Cross, known for the spirit of its effective humanitarian rescue efforts in the last several decades. We hope that the government will integrate the mangrove forest program of the eight provinces into the five million hectares national project to maintain and to protect. Here, we would like to tell our international friends that your activities with the Vietnam Red Cross have been very meaningful and rewarding. We hope to continue to receive your support to expand into other parts of the nation. The Mangrove Reforestation and Disaster Preparedness Program of the Vietnam Red Cross, sponsored by the Danish and Japanese Red Cross Societies, continue to gain significant results. The green wall formed by the mangrove forest and other achievements of the program have changed the face of the coastal villages. This is one of the biggest success of the Vietnam Red Cross. We believe that in the future, the program will expand on a larger scale bringing more benefits to the Vietnamese people, especially the poor folks, in accordance with the humanitarian aims of the Vietnam Red Cross and the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, contributing in part to achieve the parties and the state of Vietnam's goal for a wealthy people, a strong nation, an equal, democratic, and civilized society.